Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. Make up your mind you're going to stay right here, and then keep watch over the mind to make sure it does stay right here. Try to be with the breath all the way in, all the way out, and as for any other things that might come in, you don't have to pay them any attention. Any impulse you may have to go out, you don't have to pay that any attention either. Let it go. It's not going to go far. You don't have to follow it. That's the important thing. This is called restraint over the mind. You give the mind something good to stay with right here. And then as for other things, you just let them go. Anything that would pull you out, you just let it go. Anything that comes in, you let it go for the time being. This is an important principle, not only while we're sitting here with our eyes closed, but also as you go through life. A lot of ideas about what you might want to do will go rushing out of the mind. And you've got to make sure you've checked them before they take you along with them. Otherwise, you're like somebody who a car drives up and says, hey, jump in. You just jump in with a car and go with it. And then you start asking, well, where are you going and who are you? And by that time, it's too late. They've got you. Or when you let somebody in the house, so somebody comes in, they don't even knock on the door. They open the door and they come right in. You, don't, you couldn't live in a house like that. You'd probably be dead after a while. You know, that's the way most people's minds are. They go running out and they can't let anything in. It's like your house isn't a house. It's a bus station. Anybody can come in and do anything they want. If you're going to give some happiness to the mind, give some peace and well-being to the mind, you've got to learn how to close your windows and close your doors. Turn this place back into your home. And then you're in charge of who comes in. Any things come in from outside, you decide whether you're going to let them into your mind or not. People will say things, but the question is, do you want to take them into your mind? People will do things. Again, you have to ask, do you want to take that into your mind? All kinds of pretty things and nice-sounding things will come by. Do you want to take those into your mind? Because sometimes you do, and then you start getting infected. So you've got to be careful. As for things coming out, you've got to ask yourself, when you're going to say something or do something or think something, what are the consequences going to be? If you see any harm coming, you don't do it. Now, for the mind to stay happy in a situation like this, it's, it needs a, a good center, a place of well-being that it can settle into. That's why we work with the breath. Make sure the breath is comfortable. Breathe in comfortably, breathe out comfortably. Make sure you maintain this sense of ease and fullness and well-being. And that makes the principle of restraint a lot easier. At the same time, the restraint protects your concentration. So these two qualities go together, getting the mind well-centered and then protecting it through restraint, i.e. restraint of what comes out of the mind and restraint about what comes into the mind. Know when to open and when to close your windows and doors. So when you open the doors, only good things come in. When you open the doors to go out, only the good things go out. That way you're safe and you give some protection to the people around you as well. 